at uh, Western Port in Victoria and um, only an hour or so east of Melbourne and this stretch of coastline along here is an internationally significant habitat for migratory waders which we're hoping to see today. So these are shorebirds that breed in the northern hemisphere so they, the breeding grounds are up in Siberia, Eastern Asia and each year they migrate back and forth from the southern hemisphere here in southern Australia and Siberia and so they're with us for our, from our spring through our summer. Just a, a, amazing journeys these birds make, thousands of kilometres. And we're hoping to see them here at a high tide roost. So the tide is out at the moment and we're going to walk up to the end through all this uh, fallen wood and we're going for the high tide to see the shorebirds as they come in closer to the coast but obviously to come back and we can't come back this way because it'll all be underwater. We've got a secret way of getting back, which I'm sure other people know. <laughs> oh, a hat. Excellent. Anybody lose a hat? This is quite a good hat. Um, we were thinking that possibly since we saw a pair of shorts back there, that maybe there's sort of a naked birder roaming around here somewhere. But um, then I look at the hat and there's actually a big hook in it. So let's hope that wasn't the end of the birder. <laughs> a slight detour just to help a little caterpillar out. It was on the sand and um, he wouldn't last long down there because the tide's going to come in. So come on little guy, hang on, you're on your leaf. I'll pop you over there, there you go. Alright, now he's safe. So it's a little bit windy, uh, the guys have gone up around the corner there, but I think I'll sit around here uh, behind a bush. So it's actually not windy here at all. And the wind's blowing away from me, so it shouldn't alert the birds at all. And we can still see them from here. So yeah, it's kind of exciting. See what comes up. You never know. <laughs> Could see something. <laughs> the far right hand edge with just slightly upturned bills, which look like they're Terex sandpipers. So that's oh. super exciting. Okay. And there's just a few things starting to come in. So we were thinking of just very quietly moving up. I mean, this side might be better than a mile to move up because we've got cover from that bush, sort of mm. move to that next little bit of the point. Yep. And then probably go a little bit further and just to sit that plonk down. And then if a couple of birds fly up, well, we, we've plonked down and then we're there. Because things can be a bit flighty there. There's yeah. a lot of ducks and swans. swans and things. So yeah, that's probably a good angle here because most of the, we got that cover there.
so that was fun and we saw lots of birds it's quite amazing how many birds actually all come in at the same time that's a, it's a high tide um, I'm now retreating because it's just got a bit cold uh, and uh, better head home that was good it was good fun I was getting confused as to what the right dance was. Oh, anything the, you like. The knot dance. What's the knot dance? Roll. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, look at that. Uh, Straight out of the Avengers. Uh, <laughs> 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 Don't go back. <laughs> 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 If that's if that's the last birdie, dis, decent birding session and the last if the great knot is the last bird of the year, then that's a great way to end the year. But what an absolutely magical place Western Port is. The Western Port Coast is just such a treasure and um, just just a, just a wonderful spot. Uh, we should mention the at some point um, the, the ethics of, of shore birding as well and just. Um, say that today we didn't probably didn't get any great photos because we weren't that close to the birds but it's very important to keep your distance enough that you're not disturbing them um, these migratory waders come thousands of kilometers to be here and they've got to make the return journey in a few months time so we, when they come to leave our shores for Siberia we want them to be in tip-top condition nice and fat and plump they're fed up here rested up while they're roosting um, so the last thing we want to do is make them fly or move around unnecessarily and have to look for another roost. So really important to just keep your distance. The welfare of the birds is much more important to us than getting a photo, obviously. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and it's just, just great to see all those birds without putting them to flight. <laughs> so there's no need to. Well, th thanks for sharing lots of wonderful birding moments this year. There's been a lot of great, great moments. There's been a lot of fun. Yeah. I tell you, if you'd, if you'd said to me at the start of the year you're going to see bustards, stone curlew, <sighs> slender built thorn built. Great, great looks at emu wrens, grass wrens, yeah. budrigars. I'd have said, yeah. where, do, where do I sign up? <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, there's always some annoying birds that you should have got that you what, didn't. What's but, your most annoying bird then? Oh, red eared dottle. Yeah, Probably. there's a couple, aren't there? Um, spotted crake. Yeah, Anything that, spotted actually, spotted, spotted crack, spotted, spotted, spotted harrier, harrier, spotted <laughs> nightjar. And of course it's those a spotless bloody year. bush larks. Yeah. Oh. But just look, think of all the wonderful things. I think yeah. busted, busted and stone curlew just together in a what year. A, that's, yeah. that's not going to happen that often, so no. that's pretty special. Yeah. Fantastic, so thank you both of you. <laughs> Like I'm crying, tearing oh, up. Thanks for, thanks for dragging me out, Namal. That's the full of emotion. That's the beauty of it. Thanks for dragging me out. Oh, the medium-sized year comes to, comes to an end. I'm all emotional. Just, just do a medium-sized sort of well, I thought meltdown. You know, I mentioned all those birds I should have gotten. Haven't you? Don't tempt me to go around again. It's always going to be like that.